Okay. Yo. Hey. Hey. Welcome to Help Be Here with Shanae. I'm going to read from the covenant of Bringing Truth Ministries. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 8 and 9. 8 says, We are the temple of Yahweh. We shall not defile this temple. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 through 17. So, so be it. 9 says, The Spirit of Yahweh dwells in our body. Therefore, we shall glorify Yah in our body and in our spirit, which belongs to Him. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. So be it. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today as Rainy Truth Ministries asking you that you help us, Father, just ease our minds, Father, and have us to take in what you will have us to take in, Father. No more or no less. We thank you for being with us as we learn about healthy hair, Father, and to just say what you will have us to say, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Father, hit that praise. Woo! Welcome to another episode of Healthy Hair with Chanel. Yes. Yeah. And it is the month of 11 closing out. Yes. Already. Already. Yes. Do you know how your hair is doing? Ah, yes. All right, yeah. today is going to be a pretty short, you know, kind of day. With this challenge going on, I kind of just want us to, um, not really learn more information, but just use the information that we already know and implement it with this. And I want to take this time to like um, get to know our hair, get to um, pretty much get our regimen set instead of you know still trying different products and stuff to get it set. As well as just if you guys have any questions, we can just fix it. And that's what this whole challenge is just for. So today. Um, we're going to talk about everyone's hair that's here yeah. and see um, if things have been better since, I don't think we met last month, but since the month before that, um, if things have gotten worse and how we're going to fix it or things are just going great and you think you found your staples and stuff like that. So, we have Elder Felina to go first. Um, since the last time we met, my hair is doing much better because I think the last time it was really dry and all of that. So um, I think I found what's going to work. Um, I did replace the products that I was missing and I stopped playing around with co-washing with the different stuff. So I'm trying to stick to the same regimen and the, and the same product. One thing I did find um, that I was using too much of the like a leave-in conditioner because mm -hmm. I think when, in the beginning you told us that we get that like those little white oh uh, little white flakes and stuff yeah yeah and that's me trying to like overcompensate for you know I'm thinking that this is dry but it's just really curled tight mm -hmm. and so I was trying to put I was putting more on there thinking that I was helping with combing my hair and I'm like what is that. <laughs> But it's going, I, I really am pleased with the progress. And even got a compliment. They said, well, your hair is looking so much thicker. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Father, hand clap praise for her sharing. <laughs> OK, anyone else? Brother T, you going? Brother T, how your hair doing? Yeah, we hear you. I got you. Fine. Um, my main goal is to, to keep it moisturized and pretty much healthy, and I've been doing that. Um, however, with my regimen, one thing I want to get rid of, I don't know if it's from dandruff or whatnot, but the flakes, and that has not seemed to have been resolved yet. So I'm still working on that. But other than that, everything is pretty much good. I'll make you fucking clap praise for that. Yeah. I know when I saw Brother MT's hair last, I was impressed. I couldn't believe it because he had me to redo his hair and I could put my fingers through it. Like, I touched it, it was soft and manageable, and I'm like, what? Wow. Wow. And that's from from years of touching his hair and knowing where it used to be and where it is now. I was like, look at my mother. But um, MT, you said um, 
that you still having trouble with flakes. Did you do you know how to resolve that, or are you just hoping what you're doing will make it go away? I thought the flakes were from dryness, so I assume that I knew how to resolve it. But no, I don't know <laughs> how to resolve it. Okay, the flakes. You're actually correct. The flakes are from dryness. Um, the flakes do not come from the hair. The flakes come from the scalp if it is dry. If it's dandruff, it's coming from the scalp. So maybe your hair is not what's dry, maybe your scalp is what's dry. Have you been oiling your scalp for the challenge? Mm -hmm. And it's been getting in there and not just on the hair, right? You've been actually like massaging it on the scalp? I massage it. I, I couldn't tell you if it gets in, but I do massage it into my scalp. Okay, you're doing that once a week? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, then well, you doing it right. Um, if it is it like a little bit of I I would have to like do a thorough examination because if it's a lot of flakes and you oil your scalp, that means you have to take extra measures and start getting serious with it, or maybe it's just a little bit of flakes and it's slowly going away. I don't know what's considered a little or a lot. Does it? I will say that it's less than it used to. Okay, does it's it? A lot. Does it bother you? Like, like, do you just look on your shirt and you see flakes, or is it just you gotta look for it to see it? Sometimes I'll just be, you know, scratching my head and then I'll see it come down, and um, it, it it bothers me because I got allergies and stuff. Mm -hmm. It messes with my eyes sometimes if I'm scratching and stuff comes down. Okay. And it's ugly. <laughs> yeah. All right, Pastor, want to say something? Well, I just wanted to jump in. Uh, I can kind of relate. I just want to offer uh, a little something that works for me because uh, that's what I deal with. I have dry, super dry skin, and I was having a, um, a lot of very hard time keeping my legs moisturized correctly. It's very important to stop sores and stuff. Like that. Uh, and if Lena bought me this, this soap and, uh, I don't know what's the name, it's called Men's Care. The uh, Doves Men's Care. And it's, it has uh, extra moisturizer. So when I'm bathing, I'm also moisturizing the skin. And then I know, I know he's doing that with the oil while I was thinking, you know, I don't know how bad something like head and shoulders or something like that would be because that is supposed to be designed to fight the uh, flakes every time you wash your hair. And if he add that to his regimen, I don't know, because it, it's designed just for what he said, according to the people. So I don't know if you think that's a good idea or, or what, but just that came across my mind too. So. All right, get the father hand clap raise your hand, share it. Yay! Yay! All right, um, MT, if you want to take that advice and try it, just make sure it's not also body wash yes. with your head, yes. washing your hair. Um, and if you want to try this, what I would suggest is, if you want to, because you say it's slowly going away, but to me it seems like your scalp is just dry, and oil that once a week isn't enough, I would, don't think it's girly, but I would do a hot oil treatment because the hot what the hot oil does, and you're pretty much doing the same thing, oiling your scalp, it's just you're warming the oil up first. So what you're gonna do with that is you're just gonna warm up, heat up the oil, let it sit on your scalp for, I give it an hour, say 45 minutes to an hour, and that's getting deep down in your scalp and really moisturizing it, like really, come, and you're using castor oil, right? The yellow yes, one? Yes, yeah. I did look at it. Okay, yeah, castor oil is a moisturizing oil, so that's a good one to do it. It's thick, but um, use it <laughs> if it works. So I would heat that up and put it on the leave out there, so it, it's pretty much deep conditioning your scalp. So go ahead and do that, and um, I'm pretty sure that should clear it up. If not, just let me know. Okay? Okay. Yay. Um, as for me, I'm 
But the head and shoulders, it, just like you said, the hot oil treatment, when it first came out, it was the like, biggest deal out there because it did what a hot oil treatment would do for people that has dry scalp. I mean, it's specifically designed to do that. So instead of them having to do all that all the time, they, do, they can just wash their hair. And it's not a, a body wash. It, you can't get it as a body wash. It's just head and shoulders shampoo, and it's designed for people with scalps problems. And from him talking, because uh, I have very dry scalp too, and I could just wash with anything, and, and it'll help it, but it'll come back. So, you know, I, I just want to re-inject re re that, because I think that's very inexpensive, and it's a very easy fix. Yes, but what I was about to say was, I'm going to go with what T said. I was about to say, I wasn't going to go into that, but I was about to say, um, I have myself experienced white flakes in my head, even with doing um, all the healthy hair treatments and stuff. And I noticed like sometimes it's not dandruff because I would like even it's probably in there now. I probably have like some white flakes, and I know that's been happening since one I've been using a certain moisturizer, and two since there's some nights I skipped and I didn't wear my um satin scarf, so that's probably from a blanket or a pillow or something. But um I know with me those flakes or sometimes not on the scalp and you know if it's in the scalp if you part the scalp and look directly on it like you can tell if those are if it's dandruff or not but even so sometimes it was dandruff even when i was doing healthy hair practices your hair gonna go through it like your hair is just gonna go through it sometimes it may be the weather change it may just be going through um a phase that it does but as long as you keep doing the healthy hair practices it will go away and if not then you have a condition and we can still fix that all right Pastor. Yay, clap your hands, clap, clap, clap. Let me see. Well, and just watched all the thing, you know, back to the hair thing. Uh, all the boys, we have a bad. When we go to the bar, how you know? Because when we go to the barbershop, and we get low haircuts all the way. Our whole head is nothing but dry skin. They have to take a, uh, a, a towel and wipe it down and do some kind of oil to put on a, a, something on it too. Because I know because I get bald head all the time. And, and my trail trail, uh, my, when there was little coming out each and every time. We went there, so I, I know what MT is talking about now. I, I know it's, it's, it just runs in the family, you know. And uh, a, a lot of stuff, I too have those dry flakes, and I also sometimes they just be stuck off a pillow or, or whatnot. But they, they're going to be there. I have never completely got rid of them. And uh, in the places I came to, it was when I had, uh, had the Jericho, and that's because it was so much moisture. Yes. <laughs> so much grease. So I, I was just trying to plant that picture make sure I know what you're talking about and uh and do what you're gonna say and what not to try to you be alright. Uh my as far as my regimen, mine really really sucks. Uh. I mean I, I had good I went good, I had it down and uh, then I got sick in the hospital, and this happened twice. And then the next time it came, I came around. I said, "I'm just going to um, every uh, once in a while, I'm just going to get a haircut." And I like to get a ball, but my wife wants a certain little sort of style, and you have to make things, make, make compromises when you're married. You know those. She don't want to do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> my hair, I'm not a, I'm not a, a female with my hair is my glory. So, but I care about, you know, being healthy and having healthy hair. So, 
that upset me, and, and, and believe me, what I'm telling you is not excuses, it's just facts. Uh, I also got away from washing it uh, once a week, and I stopped washing it uh, once a week because of health issues, uh, holding the hands over the head, and that type of stuff became a problem. And, you know, once I had, I got that thing down, I went back to washing it, and but I only washed it once a week, and I didn't use, which I need to use the uh, conditioner, you know, uh, to get it back healthy, get my scalp right, and get back into it. But I did not do that because we, I ain't seen that in the house. So I, I was, I was uh, debating on uh, my next move. I haven't fully came to uh, a decision. I want to, but I want something that's permanent. I don't want to continue to have to do this. You know, like, like Elfina has dreads or, or twist or whatever they call it. And then she goes to the Afro. And that's what I'm, 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 I'm looking for, something that is going to be a little half cut, where I can be consistent and keep it, or my hair, you know, like I had it before, or just keep it bald and get the tools that I can groom it at home. Uh, that's my goal. Uh, I love that, that, uh, that berry juice. I love it. <laughs> I really do, but I haven't been putting it on my head because it didn't deserve it. I was not going to do that, you know, to my, uh, that, that, yeah, it, it, it ain't going to have to, I mean, I'm not going to put that on you. You're getting much of hair, you get no berries. Yes. And you're getting, you know, that, that's great. <laughs> I'll be wanting to wear it. No, no, no. So, uh, that's what I mean. I'm very, I know it's, it's situation beyond my control, but I am very, very, very upset. I really wanted to maintain it. And I really am considering doing something that's out there if I don't get killed. <laughs> uh, so that's my goal. I recommend dreads. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, my turn. Okay. For me and my regimen, it's going good. Um, my hair loves the cold, cooler weather for whatever reason. Opposite of me, I guess. But um, yeah, I where I used to co-wash. Oh my goodness, when I used where I used to co-wash and shampoo wash my hair in the same week. I have not co-washed in um. I have not been co-washing. Like I've just been washing my hair once a week, and that's because um, I would just look at my hair. Like about, I was like, it's time to co-wash, and I would look at my hair. And I'm like, yo, my hair is so moisturized. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Like, why would I co-wash right now? So I would just skip the co-wash and then, um, you know, use the shampoo and um, get all the chemicals and stuff out because the co-wash wasn't gonna cut it because my moisturizer has petroleum in it. So that's what it is. Which, you know, I was skeptical about it, but it's doing all the works and the wonders. So it's working for my hair. And I'm not putting it on my scalp and I'm washing it out. So it's working for me. But I have to use shampoo and not conditioner because it got to get out. And I even leave the shampoo on. Like once I lather, I leave it on for about two minutes just to make sure it's getting it out of there. I'm still doing my hot oil treatments, doing my deep conditioning. I, I'm sticking with Neutrogena Triple Moisture because it is the best and it's doing all the work that it should be doing. Um, moisturizing every night, every other night, every night. My hairstyle's been slacking, but that's because I'm trying to, I'm, I want to do something with it in December. Ah, but um, so I'm kind of, it's, it's kind of like in boot camp right now. So I don't make manipulate or touch it too much because I got to do a lunch check in December. Uh, so, about it, I'm still using, I'm going to say berry juice. I'm still using <laughs> a long-term relationship shampoo and conditioner. I'm using my 
Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In, and my um, long-term relationship Leave-In. I almost said marriages again. And I'm using my Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Moisturizer. And I'm using for hot oil treatments my on the oil. Is that it? I haven't been co washing. So. Yeah, that's it. And my hair is growing fast. So I'm oiling my scalp. So yeah. I can't stop praying for that. My hair is good. We have about three more months because I think we're halfway through the challenge. So we have about three more months before the challenge is over. And I got pictures. I got, yeah, I got, I didn't get pastor's pictures, but I got other people's pictures and I got MT's pictures, I believe. But I don't remember his pictures, but I remember his email. So yeah, we'll compare them at the end and we'll be going our way. Yeah. Anybody got any questions before we close out? I noticed um, when you mentioned your regimen, you had two leave-in conditioners. Mm -hmm. What? Why do you have two? I have two leave-in conditioners, which is a good question. I have two leave-in conditioners because one is protein-based and one is moisture-based. The Cantu Shea Butter is protein-based, so that like rebuilds and reconstructurizes and you know puts the strength back in my hair. Where the I keep saying berry juice. Long-term relationship is completely moisturized and it just adds the moisture in there. Okay. Sometimes I use them both at the same time. Now I've been using them both at the same time because I only have one wash day now. Uh -huh. But when I would moisturize my hair, I would put the protein to get that balance and then when I would wash my hair with shampoo, I would use the moisturizer to put the moisture back in. Okay. Good question. Woo. Anything else? Say well, I was um, thinking over this class and stuff of that nature, and I know, and this is just words of encouragement, I've seen uh, with my own eyes the results of the teaching and the application of it, and I've seen uh, others in full-blown uh, I know it's not a goal, but full-blown jealousy. And the jealousy, once that was over with, it, it trans, it, it, not jealousy, but once that was dead, they was in awe of people's hair when they was taking care of it in, in full-blown, I mean, really taking care of it. And the people, and, and I was watching, because I am the pastor, I was watching and it transferred and uh, trickled down in the economics, it trickled down into your everyday lives. And people's hair was glowing and they had more energy and it was fun and they didn't even realize why. And I was watching it and it was it was such an amazing turnaround. And people were desiring to have the knowledge that you guys have. And I, I they refused to come to this class. Some of them refuse to watch it on the internet, but they cannot deny the results. And I said that, say this, uh, when you have something of that magnitude that's really changing people's lives and you, uh, you keep it balanced, you don't let it run you, you run it, you, you grow it up, you don't let it beat you up. Uh, when, when you got that balance going on, that is a very, very remarkable thing and it's a rare thing. And you should always keep that up. You should always. People ridiculed the boy who, uh, the guy uh, who always got a haircut. For uh, example, uh, Stan and Bogan. Uh, Stan always, always had a manicure. He kept that up. He always kept his hair. I mean, if his hair was any kind of frizzle, he went bananas. And a lot of people used to talk about him and pick at him, and, but they desired to have that hairstyle. And I'm, tell, I'm not telling you something I, I know or see through the spirit, I did see it through the spirit, but I, with the physical 
evidence I've seen. And really, really. And this is what I love. You get to see and a real life example of you reap what you sow. I mean, you get to see it. You get to really, really see it. Well, I put that time in. This is what I got out. And nobody from RTM, for the most part, takes the cheap way and let's go buy some weed. Uh, go, get, uh, go get a box perm. You know, you work for it, and that's what makes it so wondrous. And there is, there is a difference in those who work consistently and those who just take the cheat way and move with a box brown or go uh, uh, get the weed or even even those guys who go get a haircut but yet don't wash the hair and don't uh, keep it manifested and trust me I, 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 I am very proud one, one of the things about RTM you know, is, the, is the many classes and this is one of the ones that I've seen change people's lives. And they don't, which is wrong, you're supposed to come back and tell the teacher and tell whoever, you know, thank you and thank you for it. That's scripture. You're supposed to, and you're supposed to uh, uh, do things for them. And, uh, and nobody really comes back and says thank you uh, to the magnitude that they deserve. And that's what I'm saying now. I don't want, you don't want to get discouraged because everybody decided to take the night off and because that's what the enemy wants. This is a powerful class and believe me, it changed people's lives and I don't care what happens in your normal life, you don't stop the flow of the anointing if you want to live. And when the announcement is rolling and is doing things, you, you support it and you go with that. So I, I say that to be encouraged and, and just keep doing the right thing. Because I am so encouraged, I really do. I'm going to get it. Uh, the complete set so I can, if my wife don't destroy me, get the hairstyle that I'm praying about and desire and the uh, beard capability to keep my beard like I want it. You know, get the trim set, the real trim set, so I can really trim it up like I want to. And I consider that as part of the hair. I even take that coconut, I love that coconut shampoo. You know, I'm not trying to sound gay, but I love that coconut shampoo. And I think it's sound masculine. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I even wash my beard with it. Not so much the mustache, it's, it's a little bit so, but I use the uh, shampoo I put on my beard because it does such a wonderful job. Now I know this is my uh, face and it's not as thick and not as got not as uh, what's the word? Beard. No, uh, hard texture. I'm trying to take it. It's not as something like that. Not as bracing. Not as bracing as the scalp. But that shampoo is for the hair and it makes it, it really, I, I don't have compliments after I've washed it with the shampoo. It's like, <laughs> now you know, I have a <laughs> yes. commercial with do the smile and his teeth. <laughs> so that's how my beard was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, keep up good work and I'm very, very proud of you. Don't take it for granted. Yes! <laughs> this is how Classes and people die, the things get destroyed. Because you can tell it's something good, it goes through a, a birthing thing, and the world don't like it. And people have purposely came in and tried to destroy this class. And it, it wasn't destroyed because the people who was here reunited as one and refused to allow it to happen. And this is just another test. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen, man. Don't let I me. Mean, don't let. Don't let it happen. It's, it's the anointing. It's fully in this class. And if you tell others about it, you get serious about it. Really spread the word. I mean, you make it your business to tell folks when they, hey, are your hair looking nice? Yeah, healthy hair, Chanel. Yeah. 
I, I said so many times, you know, there was Libby Lap, there's Harry Chanel, it's on there, on there, that, you know. And, and you get that by RT, you know, you'll be so surprised. Because everybody who came in here, you have to hear Harry Chanel, which is part of RT, you know, left different. And that's the same way when people are here. They come in, whether they come back again or not, they leave different. And have to hear it is RTM, but that's the announcement on this ministry. Okay, I'll finish. Yes. 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 Well, if that be all, am I dismissing you? No, I'm bringing it here. Well, you don't have to, I just say it from here. Um, uh, right quick an announcement uh, in exactly, I don't know, maybe five minutes after she dismissed, uh, uh, after like four songs or something, I think the announcement is so. I'm going to come up and uh, give the word, not preach, but just briefly. Come up during this amount of time and say what the Father showed me today. And it's powerful. It's not that deep. It's not that. So hang on if you're listening by the internet and want to hear it. And uh, hang on because you do need this flow of anointing. If you say, now, this is an announcement coming from the pastor. If you say you want to get closer to God, and I hope everybody will watch this and I'm tell you. And you're not here tonight, you should have been here. You should have been here last night. Your, your life would have been changed. Uh, so stop letting other things come before you in your life. And <laughs> you are doing it. That's what I should And you are doing it. Say he's there. You got anything you want to share, Mr. Warner? I ain't know he's on. He watches it on you free. Well, he, well, he ain't got anything to share. So, you should have been here, as I was saying. If you want to get closer to the Father, if you desire an announcement, if you, all these things that people have told me, Tell you, this is this is what this is for. So uh, we finna change finna dismiss and uh, I'm come up like five minutes after that and announce the start of uh Do Me and Yah and about three or four songs after that I'm gonna come up and say we got the token innovation. Yeah.